Hey YouTube, it's Empress E and I am back with the tea. Hope you guys had a good day today. Have to calm my cat down. She's needy. I don't know what's going on with her, but she want to be real doll up. I'm like, somebody emotional? Shit. Oof. Lord. We got the high priestess here. Bottom of the deck. All these cards flew out. I don't even know if I want to take all these cards. But I am. So somebody is feeling unsuccessful, okay? Somebody is... When I'm getting... Well, let me put these cards down. I'm just going to show them to y'all as I put them down. And then I'm going to let you guys know what this story is. We got exactly eight cards out. I want to go into the significance of eight, but I'm just going, you know, eight is when you standing in your power, authority, strength, organization, control, and materialism. I feel like <clears throat> I'm going to read the numerology about eight. Eight is an achiever and measures life by its goals it reaches. It has good business sense, a powerful presence, and a strong drive for success. It also it is also a symbol of balance. You can see it in its symmetrical shape, like the infinity sign. So yeah, that's the symbol symbolism of eight. And you know that's the meaning of eight according to numero numerology. <clears throat> With this high priestess under the deck, I feel like we know, you know what I'm saying, what this burden is coming from. You know what I'm saying? If you um anybody that's on a journey watching this, you know what I'm saying? When they come to moving forward, starting a new cycle with these partnerships and putting the past behind us in this three of wands type of energy. So... Somebody is feeling unsuccessful about not speaking the truth. Now they want to come in and explain a family situation. This person wants to have a family. This is the Knight of Swords energy. You know what I'm saying? This person sees generational abundance with you. Or this person want to come and combine abundance with you in this new cycle. They feel like, hold on a minute. Okay, I ain't got the power. They feel like this cycle was unsuccessful. And you send in this Queen of, Pen Pen Queen of Pentacles energy. You know, they see this as the Ten of Cups. And they see you manifesting a uh, wish. You know, they they see you manifesting emotional fulfillment with your family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the Ten of Cups. And manifesting in this Magician card. And they know that the intuition is popping. You know what I'm saying? And this is you manifesting this uh, Ten of Pentacles. Because we got Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles out here. Ten, ten. Yeah. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. It's a time for a spiritual awakening, personal development, and enlightenment. Keep your thoughts focused and your intentions on your soul's mission and life purpose. And your elevated vibrations will attract abundance and positive energy into your life. You know what I'm saying? As you manifesting, you manifesting it with truth. You being generous. You being fair. You know what I'm saying? As you, you could have dealt with some unfair situations, which... You you have, and now somebody want to come in and they want to speak some type of truth because they're feeling unsuccessful because it's a new cycle. You know what I'm saying? The truth is coming out. You know, people see that you manifesting this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? You know that you manifesting this uh, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Or you could be feeling 
let me get some more into these cards because I don't want to be like, let me see what's at the top of this deck. Okay, this is about, you guys is going to get some new information about money coming in. You guys could get a small incentive or raise or a couple raises. It's some, it's some good news about money coming in. It's probably not what you want. Or it could be somebody want to make you an offer with a caring connection. And you feel like it's not going to be successful because this person could have been a liar back then. But this person want to come back in with some type of truth. It could have been, it could be any one of them scenarios. But yeah, there's something to see. <laughs> Y'all, why I always got... Why the fuck we been getting this? The C card. What the fuck is people on? You know what I'm saying? You happy. Four. You know what I'm saying? That four represents structure. It also represents foundation, realization, a stable situation, and planning. And I can go deeper into the number four if you guys want me to. I just feel like I need to because I'm going to turn around and I'm going to rewatch this for myself. You know, four is a nonsense number. With a hands-down approach to life and work. It is extremely dependable and lends a great amount of stability to a person or a situation. You know what I'm saying? The four is dedicated to advancing, but in a more considerate way than a progressive one. Conservative way than a progressive one. It sticks to what it tends to. It sticks to what's tried and true <laughs> instead of attempting methods that are new. Okay, if you're a life path four, then that it could be for you. But then if you also a water sign, that could be for you too because you're more logical and you stick to things that you know. You know what I'm saying? And then you are the type of individual that's extremely de dependable and Majority of the Pisces that I know, the water signs, the Cancers and Scorpios, they give more than they receive. Some of them, but there's some deceit going on here. When they come down to a community of motherfuckers, when they come down to a love situation, yes, and your happiness. Look at this. <laughs> motherfuckers got strategies on how to create some type of hostilities or dramas. Now, this could be in the workplace. You know, somebody want to see you heartbroken. But there is someone out here that's holding their heart for you. And this could be this air sign that's coming back. But this person is coming back with some words. Or this person could have a smart mouth or be immature. Okay, we got the magician and the mirror coming over the magician, baby. You're manifesting. I feel like it still got happiness at the bottom of the deck, the sun. Okay, that's enlightenment too. You, you okay, baby. Motherfuckers appreciate you. People are, okay. We got, um, this thinking man, it has appreciation. This person see that you got, um, different opportunities. But there's also some trap doors as well. I feel like the high priestess already know about this thinking man and what they up to. Sending that messed up energy. Okay. Get the fuck away. <laughs> oh my God. I was going to say get away from this thinking man. But... This is you walking into your purpose, transforming 30. Somebody want to see you at a 20 out of envy. Somebody plotting and planning. Oh, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Somebody plotting and planning out of envy, deceit, jealousy. Because you're a happy person. You know what I'm saying? They see that you got the sun. And they steady coming up with these motherfucking strategies on how to steal your cornucopia and leave your ass like this. 
and financial constraints. But you manifest with the moon, baby. Fuck you, man. We got this man holding this coin and the woman holding her heart. It say, be patient. You done walked away from that shit. Somebody get it all in their head. Okay. So you already know. And you know what I noticed? I noticed every last one of my motherfucking bills that went up this month. I mean, for next month. Because you know they send your shit out early. Light bill up $60. Water bill up. And the garbage and all that shit that went up. The fucking gas that went up. And it's summertime. Ain't no motherfucking body using the gas. And ain't nobody even cooking like that. Everything <laughs> that went up. I'm like, is it me? Or is, you know. But I already know. It's negative energy involved. So, you know, since that shit want to go up. My work got to go up. Which means... I got the motherfucking go up. And when I say I got the go up, which means I need to get the fuck out there and start manifesting more money so I can be able to keep up with all these motherfucking bills. I'm like, what the hell? Y'all, real talk. <laughs> it ain't finna never be hard out here for a pimp for these motherfuckers that's on that bullshit. Come on now. I'm sure I'm finna get to calling these people like, what's really going on? Because I'm gonna enjoy success and happiness all day long. And this went over the magician. Fuck you mean? I'm protected all day long because I got guardian angels watching over me. You are not alone. I already know I ain't alone. I got my ancestors and my spirit guides and my... Listen. Enjoy growth and reap the reward. This is the lady. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Hunter, track down your fears and desires and then earth a guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. Okay, look. Go after what you need to go out there to get what you need right now. You got to shed this old skin. Especially this skin that's trying to make you feel I'm victorious with this uh seven of wands in reverse six of wands in reverse you know what i'm saying this person is trying to project that energy onto you that's if you guys are feeling like that you know what i'm saying look at where the fuck you came from within these less look at the last aa portal the lion's gate portal from last year until now if you've made improvements or you bossed the fuck up and you came up then you know that you doing what the fuck you got to do fades something is faded at the bottom it's faded for you to be a star it's faded for you to transform this is 17 17 is the number of hope Somebody wanted you feeling left out in the cold or somebody wanted you with this shit, this old skin. You leaving that behind. You know what I'm saying? If somebody ain't putting something to rest. Somebody feeling left out in the cold that is not putting it to rest. And this is the truth to be told, y'all. Oh, my God. They see you. Oh, listen. Look at <laughs> This person, like I said, you faded to be a star. You going through this regeneration. You use the motherfucking phoenix rising. When you rising from the motherfucking ashes, it ain't easy burning. Goddamn, that shit don't feel good. You got to go through the dark before you can come to the light. Real talk. And when you in the dark, motherfuckers is just watching. Watching and talking. But nobody is helping as you motherfucking manifest and be flexible you know, in the universe, balance shit out to be fair. But at the end of the day, you got to come to the edge. You can't be motherfucking playing games because these games ain't for you when you trying to get this milk and honey. Real talk. And when you fix your motherfucking mental, then you gonna have serendipity and you gonna be able to exchange gifts with spirit. 
And when it's time to motherfucking go, it's going to be time to go. And when spirit tell you clean that shit up, you got to clean that shit up because you already know it's a higher power involved in this in order for you to have peace from all this conflict and chaos, okay, with these forks in your world. Hell, it's a change in the wind all day long. Motherfuckers ain't doing things by the book no more. They chopping wood. They do. They putting in that work on their own. Okay, you about to get some messages about some treasure island coming in, and it could be coming in slow. It could be a love message from a soulmate. This soulmate is focused on the here and now. They know everything that glitter ain't gold. The grass won't green on the other side. This somebody from y'all past y'all. This person is ready to go the distance. They gonna come back asking you why. You ended the situation being stupid. I'm going to have to pull out my ratchets real top. Because they know ain't no place like home. And they want to mend the situation. This person is in between worlds. They going through a spiritual awakening. This could be a soulmate of your twin flame. Okay. They feel like there's unfinished business. This masculine. Look at this. Breathe when this motherfucker come in. Because like I said, they're going to come in talking shit on some hot-headed shit. Because they see you done started your new life. You know you around this bitch looking good, smelling good, feeling good, and good. Real talk. Building by your motherfucking self. This shit was a never-ending story. And when you fucking came to your senses, spirit gave you a leg up. But spirit is telling you to be poised because you blessed. Quit overthinking about the situation, thinking that you ran out of time. It's time for you to lead this motherfucking community and be the star that you are. And you'll be happy, happy. You got a fucking deep knowing, feminine, that you got to go out there and co-create. Rest this shit for now, because there's a loyal heart coming your way. This person could have motherfucking completely changed... And they coming at somebody totally different or you got somebody totally different heading towards you. Okay. Let me see if all these cards like this. Yep. All of them is down. Earth star chakra, baby. Motherfucking earth star, either you or this person. Initiation. Listen to the sounds of the universe. Throat chakra, express your truth. The balance forces. Okay. The reason why I just did that because that was a personal message for me and my story. That wasn't nothing to share with you guys, but we are all connected. So everybody is going to get something different out of these three cards. The sound of the universe. Listen to the sound of the universe. The universe is giving you signs. I see signs of synchronicities all day long. That's why I be reading these numbers. 51 break down to 6. 6 is all about harmony. High harmony in a situation. As you express your truth with this throat chakra. And this 7 just represents that spirituality. That enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? And 7 also represents triumphant over things. Inner awareness, mastery, wisdom, as you master yourself and gain insight, you know, as you speak your truth and you balance things out. And all of this yellow and this orange to me is just representing that solar plexus chakra, which um, is all about your self-image, your self-determination, your confidence, you know what I'm saying, what it is you can do. And all of this red is representing that root chakra being grounded. And this blue at the top and this purple is representing the third eye, what you see, your intuition, and a blue that throat chakra. What you speak. Let me see. 
see anything out of this deck? Nurture all you love. Embrace this feminine energy. Ooh, my nose started to itch. Oh my gosh. Embrace this feminine energy. Nurture all you love and seek your destiny. Do not, I repeat, do not settle. I don't know why I'm saying this. Don't settle for something just because it seemed like the more logical thing to do. And I watch my own readings and I know people be watching me and they be thinking like I, I be talking directly to them. But no, this is spirit talking through me to you guys, to somebody and to myself. Go after your destiny because you got you already know you got motherfuckers that's attacking you left and right. And they attacking you as you go after your path. I feel like I want to do some of these chakra cards. And then I'm going to end this. Because I ain't know this is going to be this long. But I was going to pull the ratchets out. But I was drawn to this deck. Balance. If you not. I feel like we are all balanced. And we just. Right now. With this new moon. <laughs> this, this new moon tomorrow. People are focused on their growth, but you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of people that's focused on their vanity, you know, and these roots are, are not connected. So it's like, don't fall for the okie doke. Don't be too quick to grow real fast. You got to set um, completion. Somebody growth then stop. Okay, use your wisdom. Okay, use your wisdom. Something is going to end. It might stop your growth, but you setting roots. These roots down here, you are planting roots. Seek your destiny. Okay, use your wisdom. Trust your intuition. This probably sounds crazy as hell. We got vanity at the bottom of the deck. Rejection and recovery. Listen, you could have felt rejected or something could have made you feel rejected or somebody is feeling rejected and they coming back to recover some shit. What? This person could have had vanity, but now they, they see that, you know, okay, listen. This person that's coming towards you, this person is into vanity, but you one of these sunflower chicks. You don't give a fuck about that shit. You know what I'm saying? You step through the door, being your motherfucking self, and motherfuckers still gonna love your energy, okay? This makes this person feel despondent, and that it causes them grief, and they want to stop some shit. Oh, my God. They want to stop you connecting with this soulmate. Maybe this person know your soulmate. I'm picking up that energy because your soulmate is connected to your passion and your destiny. Look at this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Soulmate, passion, destiny. What's up under that destiny card? Facade. Oh, complacency and renewal. Oh, my God. Insecure. Listen, y'all. Listen, <laughs> they got this soulmate falling for a facade. This person could have fell for a facade. Now they feeling com complacent, or they could be complacent, you know, or whoever this is that's trying to block this. They want this soulmate to stay in the right where they fucking at. They don't want this person to go through a renewal. They want to keep them in this insecure energy. Or this could be your soulmate feeling insecure to come in. You know, this person, they getting enlightened. They are. That same negative energy they sent your way is coming back toward they ass. And they feeling the guilt. You know, they wanted to paint this perfect picture when in the background this is what's going on all day long. You know what I'm saying? When you kept it 100 now, the trickery is 
out in the open and motherfuckers see it and you release the shit, you know what I'm saying? And now they got gratitude for the situation. Now they want to come and create. And they want forgiveness. Look at this. They want to go on this quest, okay, toward abundance with you because the way they getting it ain't good. They want to do this service, okay, and recover this situation because right now they shit is bittersweet. They painting over their pain with this impartiality, okay, putting on this perception Trying to make a motherfucker feel like a victim, you know, with that victim mentality. Blah, 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 blah. Listen. If this situation is blocking your destiny or you going toward what you want, leave this shit right where the fuck it's at. We have plenty of soulmates come through as well as twin flames. Don't let nobody feel like or lead y'all to believe that one person is y'all and I'll be all because it's not. I done connected to a couple of my fucking soulmates and I done left their ass right where they at and I'm continuing to manifest and the motherfuckers still in the same place they was at when I met them. Okay? So, with that being said, seek your destiny and nurture all you love. Do not repeat this cycle embrace this feminine energy and be without malice okay as you protect your heart and your motherfucking money and seek the answers within and become that shape shifter to get what you want and know that this dark energy is out of your ass you know what i'm saying and know that we are all connected because without the light it won't be the dark and without the dark it won't be the light and you got a little bit of dark and light in you, which is why you need to reveal your truth. Let me bring this up so y'all won't think that I'm fucking with these cards because I'm not. They talking. You know what I'm saying? We got somebody that want to calm the storm. <laughs> but this is telling you embrace the motherfucking dog because you saw that envy in the seat card, okay? Because motherfuckers going to come try to challenge your perception. Real talk. Share your thoughts. Let them know what you're thinking. <laughs> Let them know what you're thinking. And honor Mother Gaia. You know, honor Mother Earth and know that you belong. So take care of your plants. Take care of your animals. Take care of your yard. Take care of your property. The source of all. You take care of what God gives you. He's going to give you more. Your way of taking care of it is your way of showing gratitude to God that you're thankful for having it. Because he sees everything. And you just got to trust the magic within. You know, and know that you got these monitoring spirits around. You got these people dibbling and dabbling. And even you even got people dibbling and dabbling and don't even know what's happening with that kitchen magic shit. You know what I'm saying? But you got to continue to let your emotions flow. Real talk. Speak your truth. That third eye's open. Motherfuckers gonna respect your boundaries. They gonna respect your conglomerates. Real talk. And continue to love without conditions. Because I will lay these hands on you in the name of Jesus and pray for you when I go to sleep. Know that. Don't pull it. Because you got to seek the lessons. Real talk. Because we giving lessons with every motherfucking person that we encounter. And you just need to know you was born to create. So heed to your dreams bitch and i'm gonna end this right here and i was talking to myself so if anybody get offended by that that's your damn business 
All right. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. I'm Empress E with the T. If you like the message, like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you don't dislike it, don't watch it no more, okay? Hit the uh, notification bell so you guys can know when I go live and when I drop new videos because they ain't coming up in a uh, thing. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. What is up with this thing? Won't even shut out.